Get ready, class is in session. Okay, I'm just kidding. But we are on the University of Cincinnati's campus where we're talking to a very promising 3L. When it comes to human rights, he is an advocate and he's changing this world to make it a better place. I'm talking about Johnny Holshue. This is Lost in Spotlight. Johnny Holshue. Hey. Thanks for sitting down with us, man. Hey, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. We're here on the campus, beautiful campus at University of Cincinnati uh, School of Law. College of Law. College, College of Law. Of law. Ah! <laughs> College of Law. Beautiful right. campus, though. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Building's not the most beautiful, but <laughs> campus is beautiful. So tell me a little bit about uh, your 3L here. You're just finishing up your, your last year. How's everything going for you? Yeah, it's going great. Just last semester. Took a semester off during uh, studying to work a little bit or get some professional experience. And then, uh, so I'll be, just had my last class on Wednesday and uh, two final exams coming up next week and I'll be, be all done. So how, do you, how are you preparing for these final exams? Are you nervous or how? <laughs> I don't know if you want to ask me that question. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, take it easy. I just started uh, last night, kind of getting into it. And then uh, I'm more of the crammer type where, you know, a few days beforehand, just get down to it and uh, really hit the books. I know you're really interested in like, Human rights, advocacy for human rights, right? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, kind of my passion, I guess. That's, that's awesome that it's your passion because you're gonna excel. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your endeavors in human rights, what you've been up to. Yeah, so uh, I mean, it was one of the things that drew me to the urban, or to UC, it was the Urban Morgan Institute, and uh, it's a great human rights program. So Professor Lockwood, who sort of runs the whole thing, uh, has connections all over the world, so meet with us to see where exactly we wanna go. So he's really helped me out and connecting me with some great opportunities. So I've been able to go to the University of Essex and study at their uh, human rights clinic, uh, and then went to the Bangkok, Thailand to work with the International Commission of Jurists, at their, uh, which is a human rights NGO. And last summer I was able to work with Earth Rights, which is a, a human rights NGO working with environment. So you see, uh, it's really been able to get me my dream, dream internships, I guess. Yeah, and it seems like you're, you're traveling, you're doing a lot of international traveling, you're traveling <laughs> abroad, you're, you're getting your hands dirty, it sounds like. Yeah. This must be really ex exciting. It is, so yeah, so don't be worried about coming to Cincinnati and it being <laughs> boring, because uh, there's always an opportunity to go abroad and uh, go to anywhere in the world. There's, you know, you can go to any city in the U.S. if you'd rather do that. Uh, you know, whatever you're into, the UC has great programs for So is there, in, in, in regards to human rights, is there, what, what exactly were you focused on, or what would you like to focus on? I'm really interested in the death penalty. Uh, going to England sort of changed my perspective a lot on that, but general human rights is... Uh, right on, yeah. yeah. You also, you wrote uh, an amazing piece uh, in Ohio Lawyer, um, not too long ago, regarding death penalty. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little about uh, working and how that opportunity came about for you. Oh, yeah, it's great. I went and talked to Professor Moore, who's a criminal law professor here, who's absolutely excellent and uh, the formal capital appellate attorney. And she was very encouraging, supporting, gave me some advice. And so uh, I went at it. And then uh, my dad actually encouraged me to submit it. He'd read it and uh, he didn't agree with me, per se, but he encouraged me to submit it. And so uh, I sent it to Ohio Lawyer. And, uh, yeah, well, to be well, it was excellently very, very well written. Uh, I was glad I was able to sit down and read some of Johnny Holshue. <laughs> <Hulshue's. laughs> it's nice that you're able to follow your passion and take a stand on something that you're, like I said, you're passionate about. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. a really great opportunity. What's What's the next step for Johnny Holshue? Uh, that's a big question. <laughs> so um, I think I'm gonna. I'm waiting a little bit. I'm gonna take the bar in July. And then, so in the meantime, I'm going to uh, do some volunteering at the public defender's office and try to get some more experience there. And, uh, and then who knows? I'm, hopefully one day I'll uh, either do a human rights uh, position or maybe public defender, but... Well, it seems like, seems like the way you're going, uh, the world is literally your oyster. <laughs> uh, it sounds like you're getting a lot of awesome experiences abroad, internationally. I don't think uh, you have too much trouble oh, thank uh, you. wherever you're headed. I hope so, thank you. UC's prepared me to, to be able to, so it's just, I guess it's just up to me to get it going now. So. Well, Johnny Holshue, thank you so much uh, for taking a second out of your day to talk to us at the Ohio State Bar Association. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks and, for having me. Yeah, of course. And uh, OhioLawStudents.com, we really, really appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for your Go check it out. <laughs> I'm Johnny Holshue, and you're watching OhioLawStudents.com.